that is a huge asset for for her. It's like there, you she takes everything on the rise and takes it early. And out five seven. Both players just letting the ball sit up slightly at the front of the court at the moment. It's a good shot that. Like a variation. I do love uh, a volley lobbed, lobbed. Yeah, lobbed volley. It's better rally from Mazzaro. A bit more physical. Well, the trickle boast doing for Moverly in the end. Maybe he's trying to work out how to deepen his voice. Well, again, Mobley just allowing that ball to sit up at the front of the court. And out for so six. able to run onto it and play the cross yep. court. Great drive by Mowgli, ripping the ball down the wall. And out, nine all. Yeah, good mix of pace there. Game ball here for Mowgli. Down. Well, Mazzaro going for that attacking Eleven boast. Well, Mowgli, the fist bump for Mowgli, massively important second game. Hard-working rally. Mowgli doing her very best to stay in this one. Good use of height to change the angle, though. Clever play from Moberly. She's done that oh, a few wow. times, Joe. What's in a very, very good rally. She was under the cosh there. She's brilliant in that respect. And that's got her, she's got herself out of trouble so many times just purely on her competitive instinct in major, major events. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, that is a scandal from Fiona Moberly. He enjoyed that. Old Chuck over there. And out, eight all. <laughs> I didn't say it was an intentional boast. I don't know if that was, I would even class that as a boast. Well, it hit the side wall first and then the front wall. Oh, come on, mate. Are you literally, are we going to start defining what Video boast is? Somebody's trying to hit a straight length and that happens. I mean, they're going to go, oh, but boast, stop the rally. <laughs> that was a boast. I mean, she could hit it cross court, but I mean, yeah. nah, it's going to be a stroke. All day long. So Mazzaro closing down the court, she gets the stroke. Well, it was worth a punt, wasn't it, from Mobley? Obviously very aware that Masaru does opt to play the trickle boast. Oh, a bit of fortune there, would you say? You would, but she's done that really well quite a few times, Moverly. So therefore not so much fortune. I mean, that was a really tough shot that she had to dig out. I know. Crowd loving that one. Masaru. Catch ball. Well, that's a shocker from Mazzaro. Really mistiming that one. And out, 10 all. A player must win by two points each play. by Fiona Mowgli. Physicality's been very good as well, hasn't it? Yeah, really good. So having to dig really yeah. deep. Well, screams every rally now from Mazzaro. Well, Mazzaro getting a good width and length on that Eight cross court. Left. Fortunate bounce. She'll take that all day long. Very accurate. Down. Oh, that's unlucky. That Eleven is unlucky from Fiona Mobley. Zero, what a match. Very good match. Eleven nine, so nine, Eleven, Laura Mazzaro does 13, smile. 11, David Pearson looks like he's aged a bit more. 65 minutes.
a quality squash between these two northern lasses. Fiona Moveli nearly upsetting the apple cart, but uh, Mazzaro again drawing on her experience, converting in the fifth game. Outside in the space of 48 hours. Does that happen a lot in New York? It does, very extreme here, yes, very extreme. So you've gone, for, gone from that brutal, cutting, chilling wind to... 5-1. It's now 53, and uh, it looks as though it's here to... Apparently, Eurosport is currently unaffected. The replay will be up in uh, 10 minutes' time. So if you haven't seen the result yet between Gawad and Muller, close your eyes now, because that is an absolute belter. Hand out, 4-9. comfortable for her. Nice bit of hold. 11-5, game to Perry. Perry leads, one game to love. So the tallest woman on the PSA, well tall, goes off court. Well, that is tremendous power. She's got a real heavy hit and when out. she needs to give it some. Six, three. Sarah Jane, she's six foot. Six foot, one. Oh, sorry, Down. two inches in. Yeah, she's six foot. Yeah. Given that it is winter and very chilly outside, I'll shrink about two and inches. I'm currently do. about five feet eight. Four, eight. <laughs> Huge gift. Five and game five. balls now for Perry game to ball. extend that lead to two games to love. Down, 11-5, game to Perry. Perry leads. Okay. No let, ball was too good. Five three. It's much better. Come alive. The New York crowd have suddenly woken up here. Court service, please. Suffering a slight hangover after the Gawad and Mueller match. I'll pick up. Corrected initially, I thought it was the doubles. Yeah, it's good. The ball was good. Two game balls. Wow. She's done it. 11 8. Still okay. Game to Adele. A bit of fire in the Barry belly of Adele leads. there. Thoroughly one. deserved that third game. Better play from Sarah Jane Perry. Down. Eight four. Eight, Max Perry, three games to one. 11-5, 11-5, 8-11, 11-8. So, 39 minutes for Sarah Jane Perry to get the win. She made it a lot tougher for herself. Drop shot. Yeah, well, it's given her five game balls in this first. She's looking extremely relaxed at the moment, El Shibini. 
Wow. Well, we talk about shoulder height. This was way Chimini above that. And the finish was absolutely beautiful. I don't think I'm just hearing things, BJ. Well, there is an indication of the options and the variations yeah, of El Shabini Six, for me. That's more like it. Brilliant squash from Chan. Certainly some potential and in this uh, young player. Four, four game balls for Noel Shabini. Well, Joe Chan not six, seeing that one. Shabini. Shabini leads two games to love. And out, 2-4. And out, 6-5. Shabini, three games to love. Noel Shabini closing 11, out that 5, match. 11 6, 11 8. Very business like performance from El Shabini without it being as spectacular as she can be. But the number one seed safely through against Joey Chan, three love, 11 5, 11 6, 11 8. Oh, so birthday. she's only just 15. Yep. Like the Jennifer Capriati of squash. Oh, nice. nice job, nice finish. Oh, what an atmosphere for this young lady. <laughs> well, she should be buzzing in this. Yeah, well, she's having to play the pantomime villain, isn't she, in this, this role? I don't think she minds playing the villain, to be quite fair. Certain Nine. characters enjoy that, don't they? Yep. <laughs> it's a good play there from Gohart. 11 5, game for Gohart. Stefanoni having to wear the goggles because she is a junior. Very, very well. More than well. That's a brilliant shot. Have it. But she really wound up on that cross court. Gohar presents herself with two game balls. Yeah, well, that's very Terminator esque. Powerful stuff from Goha now. That's eight, three. Oh. That's a nice finish Eleven, from Goha. Five. Yeah, Goha. good performance there. Terrific Eleven, performance five. from the young American 15-year-old. Yeah. 23 minutes in duration. Noron Gohart taking out the wild card. Marina Stefanononi. <laughs> Three games to love.
Incidentally, the schedule looks good for us tomorrow, though. Really? For the men, yeah. Brilliant. All the women's matches are at night time. Four, six. So Olivia Blatchford, two-point cushion. She can certainly play. So many Egyptian players on the tour in the men and the women. Yeah, we need to uh, need some players to fend them off. Fend them off. So bit coming of in their droves. Eight, five. So, Amanda, so not Amanda Sobey, she's listening, not playing. <laughs> Olivia Blatchford. Yeah, it's a bit more aggression there from Lou. Much more like it. They've got so much ability, these Hong Kongers. Adele was, uh, she's from Egypt. Finish again from Olivia Blatchford. Very compact forehand. You'd like that. Yes, yeah, very well played. Scurrying around at the back of the court there, Olivia Blatchford. That yeah, was a good shot. Very slick. Six. Kiss there between the two, but <laughs> listen to the roof. <laughs> listen to the sound, even. To the roof and the sound <laughs> of the roof, roof. <laughs> the 24 minutes, and Olivia Blatchford holding off Lu Ling Lang. <laughs> 